Well, exhibitors are calling it the Taj Mahal of the dairy world. Two brand new pavilions are adding to the excitement of this year's World Dairy Expo. The $24 million New Holland pavilions replaced the old barns at the Alliance Center and were designed to showcase 2,500 head of world-class cattle. They really are. They're over the top. Mm -hmm. Just like our tour guide, farm director Pam Yonke. <laughs> This is the cream of the crop oh. in here for sure. This is the probably number one show in the world where you want your animal to be on display. You want them to show. And like I said, even as a kid that showed cattle, I mean this this was this was fun. For these folks, it's a profession. This is game on. So now imagine you you know how you got dog groomers and things like that? Sure. Well, we've got professional cow fitters. They will travel with those cows and all they do is do their hair, <laughs> fluff them up Entourage. here. Yeah. These cows get washed every day like you and I take a shower. They're just used to this. They get walked around. They've got people constantly touching them, fooling around with them, taking care of them. They're just so used to it. But just like when you see certain athletes, when they're on, it's game on. And I, I could show you when cows walk toward that show ring, it's like game on. You can and you can, you can just watch the way that they present. And those are the ones that you'll probably see in the Supreme Champion Circle on Saturday night when we select the best of the best. Uh, World Dairy Expo is a lot about the people. And so whether you're showing cattle out there in the barns or if you're here with a trade show or just visiting the event, it's all about uh, reconnecting with your friends and the people in the industry. And seeing what's new in exactly. the industry. Exactly. Lots of innovative products. In fact, we even have a section on our website on worlddairyexpo.com where you can discover some of those new inventions. You have a lot of new things this year. Um, let's first of all talk about the most exciting thing, the new barns, the New Holland Pavilion. Exactly, that's definitely really exciting for our event to be able to stay in Madison, Wisconsin and also grow into the future. We bring over 2,500 head of world-class cattle to show here and compete. They're the best cattle in North America and so we wanna make sure we have a really comfortable, well-ventilated system and the, the pavilions are just that. Can you give me some of the facts and figures about the new pavilion? Most definitely, um, they are two buildings and there's two 290,000 square foot, so quite a large space. In fact, they replaced the nine existing structures that were taken down uh, to um, last spring in April, and uh, the new facility stands where those used to be. So does it accommodate more cows, uh, more show space? Is there a milking parlor, all of those things? Absolutely, lots of amenities for the cows, uh, which of course are our guests for the week. So we have a brand new milking parlor, courtesy of Bomatic right here in Madison. They've donated that project. And we also have uh, state-of-the-art ventilation with the help of advice from the University of Wisconsin-Madison professors that are experts in the field of taking care of those cows. You know, look at the air sock that's up there. That is cutting edge technology specifically for this facility. You won't see this anywhere else in the world. And think about the weather we've had, Suzy Q. Yeah. Went from 80 degrees on Monday to temperatures in the 40s. It's critical that these animals are kept in clean air. You notice there's no dust along yeah. because these animals are worth so much money, they cannot risk their health. In fact, Mike Holzbach, the president of the board, said that they had to make sure that the air quality was this, this uh, fantastic. Or some of the top end genetics said, we're not going to show it your at your event because they can't risk their animal's health. This is your first time here. This is my first time in the completed building. Yeah. This is just what it was like milking and pa <laughs> on Hayanki's <laughs> farm. Yeah, right. <laughs> As the jaw drops, and I'm telling you, this is the Cadillac for any dairy animal. Remember, I'm the king of the pink ribbons. <laughs> pa Yankee never had anything that would even, I couldn't even carry these guys' feed bags. <laughs> It's pretty cool. And adding to the excitement of this year's show are rising milk prices that have reached record levels and they're improving the bottom line for many in the dairy industry. And that in turn should create an increase in sales at the show. So it's all good all the way around. The World Dairy Expo runs through Sunday at the Alliant Energy Center. Pretty pretty cool. Yeah, she was floored. That was her first time there. The queen, of the dairy pink, <laughs> queen of the pink ribbon. Yeah. More World Dairy Expo right after this. Well, in today's final touch, we have a must stop if you're heading to the World Dairy Expo this week. In fact, it may be reason alone to head to the Expo. The Badger Dairy Club is once again selling its world famous grilled cheese sandwiches to hungry Expo goers. Two dollars a sandwich, Swiss or cheddar, and a milkshake, a buck twenty-five. The Badger Dairy Club is a student organization on the UW campus. Every year, they prepare thousands of grilled cheese sandwiches and make money and take it from experience. They're awfully good.